bless you, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Life Purpose Ministry. And our goal and ambition is to help you to discover God's purpose for your life. I know today we're going to have a special service. Uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A with several people. We're going to be talking to Coach John Martinez, uh, Carolina Vargas. We're going to be talking to Monse Moreira and, and Yari Caballetos. And, and these four people, each of them have a greater purpose. And today, I want you to be encouraged. I want you to discover your, your greater purpose, what God has for your life. And I'm going to have Priscilla to go ahead and open up in prayer. Father God, thank you for another day that you've given us of life. Forgive us, God, that we sometimes don't appreciate your plan for our lives and I just pray that you would um you would be here tonight you would speak to us through the through the Q&A and you would help us to have revelations on what it is you have to say to us for our own personal life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. So our first person we're gonna be talking to is Coach John Martinez, he's a football and a, a girl from the coach, and we're just gonna to, to receive a lot from him. So we're gonna be, the first person we're gonna be talking to is John Martinez. Hey, God bless you, bro. How are you? Good. Hey, man. You know, we really want to welcome you to the Life Purpose Service. And we're just very excited to have you, man. I know you've been a big influence to the, the girls and the soccer team. And are you ready for the Q&A? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Let's do it. Man, bro. So what's one of the greatest lessons that you want your players to take with them when they finish high school? for the girl, for the soccer players, and what is your greatest moment you want the player to experience? Well, my expectations, it, it, you know, doesn't change every year. Um, I, I always have high expectations. You know, I want to win this year championship. I want to make the playoffs. Um, you know, I want to go far in the playoffs. Um, and, and that could be sometimes my biggest enemy, uh, my own personal base enemy. Is you know having those high goals and, and I I I know what it 
takes to get there, and it's still hard work. Um, and, and, you know, what I mean by that is, is you know, whenever I, I don't see some of that, because, you know, if it's an up and down season, folks get tired, their, you know, their bodies get hurt, you know, it, it, they can get a little lazy, a little lax, you know, different, you know, their, their priorities change, and, um, you know, so I always have to keep them on track with that. Um, I have to keep myself on track as well. Because um, it is it is hard to maintain that high level of expectations and to try you know and, and to uh, and to reach those goals. Um, you know you have to stay you have to stay on that on that straight arrow. Uh, if you deviate from that, then that could lead to you know obviously not you know making the playoffs, you know losing a lot of games. So um, and my former players can attest to you know I can get a little crazy, but um, it's it's all in a good way. It's all it's all for 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 something good. So yeah. Man, after seeing you in that last game, being the kind of memorial man, uh, tell me that experience, man. Like man, you felt so great, you know, the greatness in your heart, the seeing the players work so hard throughout the season and make it to a playoff. Yeah, uh, most definitely. I, I told them before the game, um, you know, we, we had a little bit of a Expectations uh, that we want for this year, and I and before the game, I kind of went back to that. And I said, "You remember, you know, four, three, four months ago, we were standing in the middle of the field at six o'clock in the morning, talking about our expectations." I said, "This is it. We're here. Um, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go and get. You know, let's go and win." And uh, you know, throughout the game, I mean, everyone that was there, we saw that. I, I like to think we dominated most of that game. Uh, and, and like, like, like the crazy sport soccer is, you know, they scored with like three minutes left in the game, something like that. Uh, we go down 1 0. You know, we hit the post three or four times throughout the game, a lot of shots. Uh, and then, you know, a bit, our, our will, our fight, our, our perseverance, uh, you know, didn't, didn't panic. We just went back down there and, 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 and you know, got, got that PK off, off that goal that was, the, you know, that corner kick that ball was going in. So, you know, I, it didn't, honestly, it didn't surprise me with, with, with this group. Um, and, and we've had this type of, we've had these type of kids for the past, I would say, about five, four or five years. Um, this kind of like, uh, not, I don't want to say uh, carefree, but like when, when things go wrong during a game, they don't panic. Um, and, and they find a way to win, they find a way to fight. And, it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool being you know being their coach when when, when you can when you can trust girls uh, you know to to finish the game you know to to, to win that game for you um, and, and like I said we've had plenty of girls in the past uh, you know some of them are, are on this Q and A Monse got it you know got a, got a that you know girls that that just have that resolve that fight to to be winners um, and, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't trade it for the world. So my last question, though, what advice would you give to a lot of like high school or so middle school students pursuing something great in their life? Like, what advice would you give them? Um, well, definitely, definitely uh, make good decisions. Um, it's very easy to be sidetracked uh, with with your peers, with your friends. Um, you know, there there's so many different things that they that are going on even now uh, that can get them in trouble. Um, and, and, you know, they, they're, they're really, their, their goal is to get a good education, get good grades. Um, that way, uh, you know, 99.9% of people aren't going to go play, play a sport at the next level. So what's your next, what's your next, if you're that, that other 99%, what's your next way is, is get good grades so you can get money for college and go experience, uh, something outside, you know, just the valley. And, and I know, I know, you know. Once you got in they they they're doing exactly that, and I'm sure they're having a, a good time. Uh, but it's because they made good decisions being young, you know, middle school, high school, that led them to that to that opportunity. Too many times you see kids making bad decisions, and it it, it affects it affects the rest of their life. You know, not mm-hmm. that there's anything wrong with being here uh, at home, but but there's there's a lot more out there in the world to experience. So Absolutely. just you know. Make good grades and make good decisions. That would be my number one advice. 
Amen. I really appreciate your time, John. And man, we're looking forward for the, our next level uh, game on Tuesday against the Mad Thai Bulldogs. And man, we're praying. I hope the girls will get ready as well. Yes, yes, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'll all right, well, God bless you, bro. I'll see you Tuesday, and I really appreciate your time, man. Take care. Yes, no.